I'm taking it on. I'm taking it on. I don't care. Oh gosh! I got butt plague. Holy shit, I'm not taking it on. I'm not taking it on. I'm not taking it on. What is up guys, my name is Golden Badger, welcome back to my channel. In today's video we're playing State of Decay 2 once again. We are in the Dread Zone uh, right now. We have been playing off screen for a little bit, but I didn't really have much time to play, uh, let alone record this week. So that's why today we are already in the Dread Zone. And I'm happy to inform you that I... Yeah, I have time today. So today's Monday, uh, my last video was on Tuesday, maybe at night, so that might be uh, Wednesday for you, but today I have the time to record, so I will. Um, I have not abandoned this series at all. I intend to fully complete it until Trumbull Valley's here, and uh, yeah, I'm really happy that you guys joined me today. Uh, like I said in the previous video, if you find yourself enjoying the video at any point, please make sure to leave a like on the video. Um, if you would like to support the channel, please subscribe as well because it helps me out a ton. I'm trying to reach 1,000 subscribers, which we are at 823 right now, I think. And uh, yeah, we're, 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 getting, we're getting close. So um, Also, if you have anything to say, let me know in the comments below. I will reply as quickly as I can because, you know, I love communicating with the community. So right now we don't really have an objective. We have a lot of damaged community members like Tong and David, both injured. Crabtree was injured as well, but I managed to heal her through my infirmary, which is a great upgrade for your camp. If you're wondering what to pick first, this is the one. Not this, this is the workshop, but the infirmary. Um, let's see if we can upgrade anything else. You might already know that I'm looking to move as fast as I can to another base, uh, which I can't right now because I don't have enough. Materials upgrade to move. So I think our objective for right now is going Excuse me is going to be find materials as fast as we can and maybe we can, can go Check out these guys. So we might take a car See which ones we have we have the Jeep and we have the muscle car So I'm thinking we'll take the muscle because the Jeep, you know, use up a lot of fuel um, Actually, let's just see which one has the most fuel Okay, that was one loud cone. Anyway. <clears throat> okay, so I um, kind of made another community on my own time. And I've played in the Dread Zone a bit. And I'm, I, I have to say, it's a real bump up in difficulty. And, you know, cars take a lot more damage really quickly. So you have to make sure that you avoid all the zombies, especially the juggernauts, but you already know that. So let's get a can of fuel just in case, and that's all we have for now. And really, I really think we should grow the community a little bit. So I think we should make sure that we have plenty of people in the community. Actually, let's just take the Jeep. You know, it's cooler. It's a zombie apocalypse. It makes sense. <clears throat> All right, so we have fuel. We shouldn't be worried about that. And yeah, let's just let's just let's just go. So, guys, thank you so much for tuning in today again. Um, one second, I need to sneeze real bad. <coughs> okay. Ooh, might be a second one coming up, but uh, as of right now, thank you so much for tuning in today, guys. I'm very happy that you guys are watching my videos. I really like this game. I haven't played it in so long, and I'm very happy to, you know, jump right back in. Especially now that the new episodes from uh, The Walking Dead are online. I only watch them on popcorn time because I can't really watch them real life, like in the U.S. Uh, here in Belgium, we have this... Um, we have Fox, but they... I mean, they delay seasons so badly. It's a nightmare. And on Netflix, it's also delayed, so... That's why I stream online. But now that those episodes are back, it really gives me this craving of a zombie apocalypse game, you know? Um, this one and Days Gone as well. Days Gone is going to be a very cool game when it comes out. But uh, let's check out these guys. They, they look like they mean business. Holy shoot. Hi there. Hi there, indeed. What is up? Don't mind if I uh, just fast search everything you own. 
Thank you for those parts. They should really make it to where if you have a an enclave or a, a thing like this. What the hell? Oh shoot. I, I I mean I think they can manage. I would hope so. But hey, whatever. These armored Zeds take a long time to die, but they sh like I said, they should make it to where if you find a new enclave that you haven't met before and you start searching everything, like stealing their stuff, they should really start giving you a warning or at least attack you because that would make it very, very realistic. Now, who of you wants to talk to me? It looks like you do. Okay, what's up, Billy? I shall search for fuel for you guys. I think you have a cool jacket on and your cargo pants also look nice. You look like you mean business and I would be honored to have you in my community. But you have a nice shirt and you have a nice weapon. Where is she? Yeah, she has a nice AK there. Um, I have yet to find one of those. But one of the new updates um, that I missed... Oh, shit. Uh, that I missed when I was not playing State of Decay is that they actually added crossbows. Now, crossbows like Daryl Dixon in The Walking Dead, are a very silent weapon that is that are very effective. And I've seen that there are a lot of variants of the crossbows. <clears throat> so that's actually pretty cool. I'm very stoked to see one. I also heard that you can craft them now. So if we could craft one at any point, that would be sick. By the way, if my voice is weird right now, I'm so sorry. I literally just woke up. It's like 8 o'clock where I live. Everybody's out. And this is my only time so far. The first time that I've actually had... Oh, look at these bolts. Like Just like just when I was talking about crossbows. But this is the only time that I actually have for recording. So that's my my, my voice still has to wake up, if you would. I ain't fucking with that. Sorry for the for the language, but that's it. Ooh, we got a 1911 classic. Well, well. Oh, boys, we got a crossbow. Look at that. Well, actually, all my lands. Guys, we have a crossbow. We have a freaking crossbow. That's so sick. Oh, gosh. Oh, Lord. Let's test this bad boy out. Oh, guys, that is sick. Oh, wow. That's really cool. I'm going to put this in here. These bullets, we don't need them. This is going to take up uh, a lot of weight. And this, I don't actually use either. So, and that's heavy. So, man, the crossbow. That is cool. That is real. Can you actually get the bolts back? Can you? I mean, he shot him in the head, right? Or did it pass through him? Let's see. So we, we shot him in the chest. I mean... I don't think we got the bolts back. That's a shame. That's a real shame. Okay, but it's really cool. I did see in one of the streams of the devs, though, that you could get the bolts back, which is weird. I want to test something out. So I'm going to shoot that sand heap. Oh shoot, you can't you can't get him back. Oh, that's bad. Sheesh. Yeah, it's really bad that you can't get the bolts back. Maybe it's just me. But I really would have wanted to get the bolts back. Okay, we are over encumbered. Um, let's use this for now. We got seven bullets in that. So let's put that in the car. Equip that. Put the bolts. I don't know. These aren't heavy at all, so I'm going to put the rucksack in here. And let's you know, continue on to search for some fuel for that community out there. Fill her up. There should be a gas station near here at least. Down there, some Bronto gas or whatever. I can see the barricaded strip mall. 
Let's look for some gas, guys. <clears throat> Gasoline. That's the barricaded strip mall. That's the best base on this map, if you were wondering. It's a police station. That's also a base, if you want to. Ooh, another army checkpoint. I'm going to save it, though. I'm not going to look at it right now. Man, we need fuel bad. How is there no fuel, uh, no gas station back there? Oh yeah, by the way guys, life update. I actually work at a gas station now. Like, not full time, I'm still a student. I'm still in school, but, you know, as a student job, I, I work in a gas station. I'm a, I'm a clerk at, in the store, as we say that. Here it is. <clears throat> yeah, it's, it's, it's a cool job. I mean, it's not the most exciting thing in the world, but hey. Makes me some money, and I'll never never say no to some money. What's up, guy? Thank you. <clears throat> yeah, I'm sorry. My voice is still waking up. But we have some fuel that we'll actually put in the car right now. I wonder, guys. Like, I'm really getting into cars lately, so... Uh, most of you know, the last time I played State of the K2, I actually got my driver's license, and I'm now saving up for a car of my own. Now, I really like pickup trucks. I've really gotten into those pickup trucks, high utility kind of vehicles. I would like to know what kinds of vehicles you guys prefer. So, what's your dream car? What's What car makes your dick hard, if, if you know what I mean? Sorry for the language again. But, it, you know, a dick's just a name. There's plenty of people named Dick. And hard is just, you know. Never mind that. I take it all back. I'm so sorry. But we haven't found any fuel. I mean, we have found fuel, but we haven't found a um, a rucksack of fuel. So we found gas canisters, but no fuel. No rucksacks. That's a shame. I really like this crossbow. Oh, shit! Read this. In a world where ammo is tough to come by, a soldier could use... Uh, could do worse than carry one of these bad boys. Decent range, a nice optic, and plenty of killing power. Best of all, the Zeds won't hear him coming. Kelly Sasquatch Eldridge. So Sasquatch actually um, quoted this, which is pretty awesome. Sasquatch is the one that was in the Life uh, Lifeline DLC in State of Decay 1. Crossbows make no, no make no noise. They don't jam. Never break. Killing a plague zombie with a crossbow increases your chance of finding a usable plague sample. That's so cool! Man, I'm really liking this. Anyway, uh, get me fuel, please. Find me fuel. I guess we can continue on to find some more. Let's jump this. Whoop! It's highly likely that we find one in there, but hey. So yeah, uh, favorite favorite car. Let me know in the comments. Car, pickup truck, whatever. I really like like the um, the Ford Raptor or the the Ranger, Ford Ranger as well. Um, the Toyota Tacoma. If I ever ever get enough money and I actually live in the United States, I'll get me a Toyota Tacoma because that truck is just beautiful. We only have a Toyota Hilux in here uh, in Belgium, which is a shame because a Tacoma would be so cool. But then again, what would we what would we use it for? We don't really have like mountainous ranges and whatever. What the heck's this? What's this? That's a little icon that's not supposed to be there, I feel. Woo! You go, Michonne. I think it would be really cool if, like, Beth uh, wow, Bethesda, Undead Labs put in characters that named, uh, that are named Daryl and Rick and Michonne, but have different last names. That would be really cool. And they actually look like them, too, so, like, special characters that you can roll by choice. Uh, by chance, I'm sorry. That would be sick, guys. That would be really cool. We got a clinic up here. We need meds. I mean, couldn't hurt to look inside. Let's check it out. Don't use firearms unless you have to. 
Oh shoot. Okay, we gotta be careful here. That's one. Oh shoot! Oh gosh, this is really stressful actually. Okay, um, getting inside of doors and houses is is way more stressful this time around. Well, let's actually use that up. Okay, so, yeah, it's really, it's way more stressful. Holy shit, did you see that? I didn't. I know I should have used my flashlight, but still. I think they have done an amazing job with the Dread Zone. And the Dread Zone's hard. Like, I don't even I don't even want to know what the Nightmare Mode's like. Um, I actually tried to record earlier this week, or pre uh, last week, uh, where I actually enabled the Dread Zone... Um, the Dread Zone difficulty, which, it's not hard at all. Somebody in the comments let me know, which was cool, but uh, I'll, I'll, I'll show you guys right now. So, you can go to your community, your base, and then you can go to difficulty, which you, where you can choose Standard Zone, Dread Zone, or Nightmare Zone. And, once I had done this, I had actually come across, like, a Juggernaut and two Ferals, and there's a little bit of footage of that, my first encounter, and Kill if I might add, of a juggernaut, a Blood Plague's juggernaut. So that was really cool, and I think I'll, I'll include that clip in the beginning of this video. So if you've seen that, yeah, that was uh, me recording last time, but right in the middle of my recording, my mom came home, and I wasn't really able to record anymore. Oh, gas station. So yeah, sorry for squirreling out like that, sorry. Oh, we should really survey this area. Please get me fuel. Oh. Oh, I love these kill cams. Okay. Oh, that's a horde. Oh, what the heck? Ah! <laughs> He's got a pine cone on his head. That's hilarious. Oh man, that pine cone has made my day. Look at the pine cone on his head. I mean, he's going to live to uh, see another day. Live to die another day rather. Um that's a blood plague zombie right there, but we're not going to not going to bother with that right now. Just looking to find some fuel. I hope we do, because if we don't, this would be a very non-productive episode today. Is that all? That can't be all, right? I mean, come on. I can always make a rucksack of fuel at home, but I don't feel like it. I'd really prefer... ...to just find one out here. No more zombies here. Nope. Plenty of zombies out there, though. Uh, I guess we'll press on. That's a gun store, like it looks like, or a. That's either a weapon store, a gun store, like that, or a library. Oh man, I really, we really need to find some fuel for those guys. That's another base right there. That's a, a, a movie theater. Like an open-aired movie theater. It's pretty cool. Squashed. I did find a way to get my audio, my in-game audio for me to be nice. So it's way more... Um, it's, just, it's just nicer. I don't think your vehicle gets damaged if you door kill zombies. Are we at the hospital or whatever that was? Oh, there's bound to be some fuel down there. Um, and some blood plague zombies. I guess we can take him.
Okay. Let's just take care of those guys real quick. And then we'll drop off the fuel. And that'll be that for this episode, I think. We are in no rush at all to complete the story or appoint a leader or do whatever we have to. I'm just playing around and I'm just playing and talking to you guys. This is what I like in State of the Gate 2. Like, Bethesda does a great job at environmental storytelling, and Undead Labs definitely took some notes from those guys. And look what they did. It's actually really cool to see this, this thing. But yeah, uh, we need to find some sort of fuel thing. We are at day two right now. Nothing. Awesome. Absolutely awesome. Oh, great. Can't even take that. Awesome. Oh, shoot. Let's go. They're all dead now. Yeah, those kills are definitely OP. Oh, a gun locker. Oh, parts. I mean, you can always use parts. Oh, Lily Ritter. Oh! Okay, we need to move. And by the way, always, um, also zombies don't really show up on maps. Unless you're inside, but look out here. No map icon for a zombie. So yeah. Oh man, I love these close-ups! Okay, let's, let's hop the fence here and see if there's any fuel in here. I bet you there won't be. <sighs> no more zombies here. Ethanol. Oh great, a rocket. David's frustrated due to low morale. Okay, we should get probably head back to base. Still have plenty of fuel? Yes we do. Let's just go back. Yeah, you know, that's gonna be a plan. We're gonna go back and when we do get back we'll make a new a new rucksack for meds okay but I'm definitely gonna be checking out everything else yeah we got plenty of fuel we'll make a new rucksack and we'll give it, give it to them and then see what David's deal is and then we'll probably I mean call it, go call it a day I would imagine because I don't want to rush anything. Um, we are in no hurry to complete this game right now. I'm just playing to play because I love playing the game and because I want to chat with you guys. Oh, look at that, Aramis V. Does it have anything in the trunk? Nope. Does it have any fuel? Ah, barely. Anyhow. I don't think we can actually get down from here. So yeah, that's a lost fuel that, we'll, that we won't get back. Man, fuel's really an issue today. It's like finding something to eat in the fridge. If you're really, if you're really looking forward to eat something out of a fridge and you, you look in the fridge and it's not there, any other day, any other day you don't feel like eating that, it's, it's all over the place. That's what I feel like right now. Oh, we should be good here. And also, I'm either I'm thinking either we should move bases or uh, move maps. But I don't like this map per se. It's not my favorite map. It's a beautiful map. Don't get me wrong. It's just I don't really like the atmosphere of it. And so I'm thinking maybe we should move. Right. 
Okay, last chance to find fuel. Any lootable things? Unless we've been here, we've probably been here. I think we might have been here before. Yeah, probably. Let's just go. Let's just go see what David's deal is. Alright. But uh, yeah, guys. Um, if you want to know more about me, about my life, who I am, uh, let me know in the comments. I'm not really that emotional of a person to share everything with everybody. But if you guys want to know, I mean, I'm a guy, 22 years old. I live in Belgium. I, I'm, at, I'm in university. I study physiotherapy I I have a job at a gas station and I love playing video games that's about the extent of my life and yeah I still have a girlfriend by the way just still the game still the same girl and yeah that's that's just that's all I guess I'm not a very interesting guy I just like playing video games and yeah that's about it I, I guess I, I don't just love playing video games. Like, I really love playing video games. Else I wouldn't be making videos about it. I like 30 minute videos without monetization. It's not because you want to make money. It's because you love making videos and you love playing games. That's what I do. And that's what I love. Let's put all of it in there. Oh, we're out of storage. I actually would like to, yeah, put that in there. And then, yeah, the rest we'll put in the in the locker itself. But this girl has found herself a crossbow. Yeah, I do, David. I care. Come on, uh, come on, guys. Where's David? David. Where are you, my ba my boy? Is this you? No, it's Tong. David. It's probably downstairs, in the in the sleeping area. Yup, he is. Oh man, he's really sad. What's up, my man? Come with me. Yeah, come with me, man. Come on, man. Let's have a chat. Yeah, not me either, but we need it. I mean, whatever. Okay, let's just extract a fuel rucksack, and that's that. Okay, now we have almost no fuel. Anyway, we got it. Let's give it to them, and then we'll call it a day. Let's go. I'm tired as all hell, and I want to get out of here, so. I hear a lot of Zeds. Are you with me? Let's go, buddy. Alrighty. It's go time, boys. Okay, so either we can recruit one of those guys as a new community member, or we might have to kill them all because I don't feel... I mean, we're not going to kill them all. We're not going to kill them all. But I really hope we can recruit either the one with the AK, because I like that gun, or the one with the cool clothes, the grandma with... The cargo sh cargo pants and whatever. Oh. Okay, we're nearly there, and I'm thinking maybe we can make Crabtree our new leader, if she is a builder or a trader. I don't want to go with a warlord or a sheriff anymore because I've played those boons, and though that I like them, I want to try something else. Okay, here we are. Let's see if we can bag this thing up in there. Hey, shut the fuck up. Calm down. Okay, Billy, what up? Thanks for taking care of that. Here's one rucksack. Okay, have a good day then. A done. How have you been? Let's get in there. Um, well, We've been good, I guess. You gonna get in, buddy? Alright. Now let's see what he needs. 
We need clear infestation or what? I don't know. Oh shoot, we run her over. We ran her over. Oh, this is okay. He's dead. Something's gonna bite your ass. Nailed him. <laughs> he's he's way happy right now. I mean, it looks like it. Who's that? Wandering trader. We don't have anything for you yet. It's just good. The wandering trader is a great opportunity to get some influence. But um, yeah, guys, I'm, I think I'm gonna call it a day. Um, I'm going to drive home. I'm not going to show you the whole drive. But um, this is where we say goodbye. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you find yourself enjoying the video, please make sure to leave a like on the video. Comment down below to talk to me. I would love to interact with everyone in the community. And also subscribe if you'd like to help me out reach my 1,000 subscriber goal. And obviously more after that. And if you genuinely enjoy my content. If you don't, well, it's not an obligation. So, thank you in advance. And I hope you have the most amazing the most amazing day and week or and year and whatever you can have so yeah guys have a good one mm -hmm.